everyone, welcome to Jay's Gallery. This art piece is made of brass. It's made by pouring copper salt solution onto the surface of brass, which will create a natural flow motif. Then the flow motifs are engraved by hand using a Dremel. The shape of this piece is done by hand hammering, and the colors are created by using heat torch, then engraved by Dremel. No pigments are used at all in his work. This is a purse made of brass. Lambskins are used for handle in the pockets and sides. It has a rosewood feet, so it stands by itself. When not using as a purse, you can display it in your home, on your shelf or table. Hi, my name is Deborah Y. Graham. You can call me Debbie, and you are in my home, my studio, and my shop. So, my art, it's all hand drawn to look almost like tapestries. And I'm going to show you a little detail. A lot, a lot of hundreds and thousands of little squares gone over twice once with white ink and once with pencil. And there's always a wash, an underlying layer of a wash. So come see some other pieces. It's an old piece, but anyway, to stay on the tapestry theme <laughs> and the little squares, this is a piece I call blue swirl. And as you can see, it's the same technique using blue ink, black ink, white ink, and pencil. You know, every once in a while I get colorful. So this is little bits, I call them little threads of color but very, very subtle. It's another new piece I've done during COVID. And I thought I'd show you just for a couple seconds, just kind of how it starts. So it starts, this one started with a wash of blue ink and I mixed some other inks to make it look like sand because I'm into the ocean, even though I can't see it that much this summer. And it starts off by putting little white squares with white ink. And that's the second layer. And then the third layer, when I've completed the second layer, will be the pencil. So this is a bigger version of, let me show you, of this test, which I really like the way it came out with all three layers on top. So now I'm just doing it in a bigger version. I hope you'd enjoyed this little video and I hope to hear from you. You can always reach me at 917-796-8041 to come and see these pieces safely in person in my back patio. Take care, be safe, bye-bye. Hello, welcome to my studio, I'm Michael Patterson. I do lots of different things. Uh, this, this painting here is partially finished. I, uh, I'm very involved in the shapes of the figures themselves, but then the shapes between the figures, all these negative shapes, these triangles. Uh, this is what uh, gives it energy, I think, and, and it makes it um, visually active, and I like that. So um, that's one of the series of the beach series. And then I do this rain series. I lived in Paris for years and painted watercolors in the rain every day at rain, and I love rain. Um, and my paintings are full of people, really. My beach paintings and this other series I do, the dapple painting. Uh, and there's my cat, Zach, who I cherish. This paintings are, um, are you know, the, I, that feeling of the dappled light that filters down through the trees and sort of dances around. I find that very, very, very beautiful. They're kind of happy and, um, you know, bright. Uh, another series I do is the one with the guitar. Um, I play music um, and and just the idea of a female singing a love song to the world makes sense and um, I enjoy that. So uh, 
Thanks for coming to my studio and uh, visit my website if you'd like, pattersongalleries.com. If you'd like to sign in and be on the mailing list, uh, I send out a card each year and uh, I'd love to have you. Thanks for coming. Welcome to my studio. I have a determination to be creative even in these challenging times. I would like to still evolving to be the artist who inspire and shares my beautiful colors and spirits with the world. I do believe art and storytelling can help us come together, cope and heal in the face of this grief. I don't just paint paintings. I paint life. I paint hope. I paint dreams. And I paint love. And I can't wait to see you in a future festivals. Until then, be safe and be well. in the backyard. We're trying to figure out a way to make it a little bit easier. Um, all this virtual stuff, what's going on right now, makes everything a little bit more complicated. So I'm hoping you're able to get a good idea of the work um, and able to see the depth. It's a lot more difficult when you're with the video. But anyway, take a look around. Thanks for being here. Thank you.